Hello everyone, how y'all doing? It's Richard. Welcome back to Push Ups for PTSD. Today's topic, how to stay positive. First tip, find optimistic viewpoints in negative situations. This seems like one of the simplest ideas, but can be pretty hard to accomplish without the right mindset. You can develop this positive habit by more often asking yourself helpful questions, doing it as much as possible. Here are some questions you can ask yourself when you feel negative such as feeling lazy, made a mistake, or failed or stumbled in some kind of way. What is one thing that is positive or good about this situation? Or, what is one opportunity within this situation? Asking yourself these questions is much better than degrading yourself, but there are times when you might need to process your thoughts and feelings prior to asking yourself these questions. The second suggestion, cultivate a positive environment. Who you spend your time with or what you get from TV, internet, and magazines can have a large effect on your outlook. In order to stay positive, it is essential that your influence support and lift you up rather than force you back down. Be careful what you let into your mind. You can ask yourself who are the more negative people I spend time with, or what show, website, magazine, or author provides negative sources of information, and then begin to cut those out. Once you begin to cut out these negative sources, Look into how you can spend your freed up time with something or someone more positive. Third tip, go slow. Moving, thinking, talking, eating too quickly and it can cause stresses to build up. Negative thoughts will swell and can cause your own personal abilities to decrease. But if you slow down, just for a few moments, then it can help your mind and body calm down. This can make it easier to find a more opportunistic and constructive perspective. In other words, take a moment to breathe. Fourth step, don't make a big problem out of a small problem. Or for something snazzier, don't make a mountain out of a molehill. It's easy to lose perspective when stressed and moving too quickly. This can cause a small problem to appear and feel much larger. Here's some steps to help prevent that. Say stop. In your mind, shout stop or nope, we're not going to go down that path again as soon as a negative thought starts spinning around in your noggin. Breathe. Breathing calmly is beneficial and therapeutic for your mindset. Breathe with your stomach and focus on breathing in and out for a minute or more if needed to calm your body down. Focus or resume your prior focus. If needed, talk to someone who you trust who is outside of the situation, a more grounded perspective, or just vent and look for their input. A lot of the times you can ask yourself if this will matter in 5 years or even 5 weeks or 5 days. This ends part 1 of how to stay positive. I'm wishing you all well and hope you're staying calm and safe during this time. Thank you for your support and comments. I appreciate all of it. Costeria de desario todo de bom a todos e espero que vos que fique sacado durante ese periodo. Obrigado por sus apoyos e comentarios. Gracias todo eso. I hope you're all doing well, taking care, and staying safe at this time. My family and I are doing our best to have fun times within the isolation. I just want to end by saying thank you for your current and future support and any comments left behind. I truly enjoy replying to whomever posts. Take care, and most importantly, thank you for surviving.